Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello beautiful people. And today we are talking about Gemini's. Ah, Gemini's. Love you so much. Y'all look crazy as hell though, but it's okay. We gonna, we gonna keep it moving, okay? Cause I got shit to do. Gemini is the ruler of the third house. The third house regards knowledge, self-awareness, understanding. So you can look at houses as a representation of the areas in our lives that are organized through astrology. Um, a house through astrology is the same as the house that we live in. It is an environmental influence that definitely will affect us and our personality traits. It's also ruled by Mercury. Another zodiac sign that's ruled by Mercury is Virgo. So if you're a Gemini that has a best friend of a Virgo, now you know why. Or if you're like a Virgo and just attracted to a Gemini, now you know what it's all about. Um, intellect, the knowing, curiosity, exploring, wanting to know why. Coffee is for big people. Why? Because um, little kids can't drink it. It makes you too hyper. Why makes me too hyper? Give me a little bit. No. Why? So, some other traits about Gemini. They are air signs. The um, other two air signs are Libra and Aquarius. Um, Gemini is the baby air sign. It's the little toddler. Libra is more of a preteen, I would consider them. You know, they're the balancers. They want everything to be calm and chill and relax. And um, Aquarius is, are the, the more mature. They're the fixed ones. The thing about Gemini's is that they can be a little manipulative. Actually, they're the masterminds behind manipulation because the reason why they're so good at it is that they know you. They know everything about you to the to get whatever the fuck they want out of you because they know how you move. Uh, what else? The duality. The duality aspect comes from actually you can see it within the um, symbol. The two lines going right here horizontally and then the two lines vertically. That means that they see every aspect, which could be hard. Like, let's say you have a best friend that's a Gemini and you're about to go off on a person. Like, you get into an argument with a person. Your best friend, your Gemini best friend is sitting on the side. Y'all just had a discussion earlier about how this person was so wrong. So you going off on them like, nah, bruh, you wrong. These are the facts, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden you hear your, your Gemini best friend say, well, they might not be wrong. And you're like, what the heck? Like, whose side you on? Like, we just had this conversation two minutes ago that they were wrong. But it's not that they're two-faced. They just see both sides of the situation. Um, Don't ever get into an argument with a uh, Gemini because you will lose because they are wordy and they will cuss you out slicker than anything. Or the best thing is that they can tell you off intellectually. So not only are you wrong, but you feel dumb at the same time. You're like, you ain't got... Come on, chill out. You bro. ain't got the Kanye, answers. Relax. You ain't got the bro, answers. I'm asking you You a ain't question. been doing the education. Damn. You gotta go think about what they just said. If a Gemini says that they don't know, say I don't know, they are lying to you. They know every single scenario or potential aspect of the situation. They just don't feel like going into depth with everything because then they're so detailed and they're wordy so they have to be expressive and sometimes they don't want to be expressive. That's the duality aspect too. Sometimes they're for expressing how they feel and then sometimes they're like, mm, I'm okay. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get with the Gemini. Okay, so another concept about Geminis, they are indecisive. So indecisive with everything, not just one thing. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Damn it. What do you want? Yes, so relationships with Geminis. I actually, I think I'm gonna do a separate video for how to attract a certain sign. And um, Geminis, they're not as hard to like settle down, especially if they have a water, um, water in their chart. It's easier for them to settle down with someone. I was actually in a long-term relationship with a Gemini. And I'm the one that broke it off with the person. So they're not hard, but you have to do certain things to keep them interested because their attention span is like a toddler. 
legit. Like it's like fucking distraction. Notion to pretend like they don't need anybody when they really do, so it's the duality again. So, I guess to sum up this video, they are adventurous, wild hearted, beautiful souls, intellectually driven, wanting to communicate and connect with anybody, um, passionate lovers, uh, all around good people. Just don't allow the duality to affect you as much because that's just how they are that's the, what they do essentially they see all aspects they go back and forth through everything they can switch up what they say within a matter of seconds so just understand that and you'll be fine i want to know your experience with the gemini um are you close to one are you dating one do you have a best friend that's a gemini comment below I want to know your outlook on Gemini's and if some of your experiences matched up to the things that I stated. Uh, curious, like a Gemini. <laughs> um, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet, and I will see you in Cancer. That is a beautiful sign. All of them are beautiful. Like everyone is beautiful in their own way. So, peace and so much love. Until next time, lovers. See ya. One, anybody, one on one. I believe, honestly, that I can talk. I believe that I have the ability to reason. I have logic. I have compassion. I have understanding. If we talk, there's no problems. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what happens. People use what they heard in the media, and that's how they come at me. And then, you know, we got to clash.